Hey, what's up? This is Seth, and I am going to start a new series for YouTube, and it's going to be um, centered on Commodore 64 programming. And the first thing we're going to do is going to set up the environment for Kick Assembler to be able to create assembly language programs for the Commodore 64. Yep, here's where you get Kick Assembler. The latest is version 5.5. .5. You'll also need to have Java installed because it comes in a jar file. You'll also want to get Visual Studio Code, which is by far the best um, code editor ever made. And it's free. And if you don't know, Java is a free download. Kick Assembler comes in a zip file, so you just click on it and download it to wherever you put things on your computer. I have already downloaded it right there. Once you have opened the zip file onto your computer, it will have a folder, and inside there will be a file called kickass.cfg. Now, you can leave this as it is. There's a way that you can get Kickass to um, automatically run Vice once you have um, compiled something with it. You might want to get Vice, which is a versatile Commodore emulator. You go to their webpage, which I will link in the description below, and then click download. And you'll see there's a bunch of stuff here, but all you really need to do is go to binary distributions over here to GTK Vice 3.3. Oh, and look, it's a .7z file, so that's not standard. So you have to download 7zip also. So here's the latest 7zip webpage, and the latest download link is on there. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Just download it and run it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do when you open up Visual Studio Code is go to the extensions icon, which is over to the left, and at the bottom and then in the marketplace search for kick ASS and you want to get the one that says kick a similar C64 by Thomas Conte and there'll be a green install button right here just click on that and you'll be good to go now after you get that installed you go down to the settings icon which is down at the left bottom corner and it's settings and you'll see extensions go down to where it says kick similar and in here there's only one setting just set it to wherever you placed your um, kickass.jar file on your computer and that's it Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is take the kickass.cfg file and open it up into VS Code. And here you'll see there's some options. Minus ODR is a option that will create a file. It'll actually create a folder called C64 underscore files. <clears throat> and put all the executable program files that it creates into that. Uh, show mem is useful. It shows which uh, segments of memory are being used. And I mean the Commodore 64 memory. Um, now, the very bottom command here is called dash s execute. And what you want to do is put the path to your WinVice download x64.exe file so the whole full path this is a global setting so once you put it in there every time you compile something it's going to open up vice okay so now that all that's configured you should be able to open up one of the kick assembler example files and execute it so let's try that let's open the folder 
we're going to go to the kick-ass folder where you installed it and there's some examples in the examples folder and what we'll do is let's try the music IRQ one and select the folder and inside there you have music irq.asm let's open it up and there's the kick art kick ass um, code file and now you want to open up the command pilot which is control shift p and the extension puts in a command kick a similar build and boom it's going so it works so just to prove that that actually works I'm going to FTP that program over to my ultimate 2 plus which is on a real Commodore 64 I'm going to copy it over and then we'll minimize this and let's go over to the real Commodore 64 screen we're going to look on the USB where I just placed it and there it is it's music irq.prg go run it and it works just fine kick a similar environment set up for PC to be able to compile Commodore 64 programs on your PC and you can also tra transfer those files over to a real Commodore and run those files so let me know how you guys like this video and maybe comment and let me know what where you want me to take this um, I plan on covering some basic topics of assembly language in the future, but maybe uh, we'll get more advanced into it. So we'll see what happens.